Okay, you guys can go ahead and hopefully you guys are logged in to Gaggle and if you're not, go ahead and do that and then go ahead and pause the video just for a moment while everybody gets logged in. And I'm gonna go on through and let you guys kind of show you guys where to look for your assignments, what your assignments are gonna look like and so forth. So go ahead and pause the video now so that you can get logged in and see everything, okay? I'm gonna share my screen with you so you guys can see what I'm doing as we go through here. Okay, so whenever you guys get logged into Gaggle, you get your login and all of that good stuff, you should come up to a home screen. And this is gonna tell you whatever you have that's, if you have something new or whatever, if you have emails, these events, you guys are not going to see these because I'm not going to actually be putting anything into your calendar. But uh, anyway, so that'll think that'll kind of go from here. I'm not going to make a printout for you guys how to use Gaggle. I'm just going to show you this video. It really, I think you guys will be perfectly fine. You know, it's going to. I mean, it may take you a couple weeks to kind of see and find everything, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Just remember that help right here. Go here, you've got your training videos, and there's a user guide as well. You know, these training videos, you guys can um, watch these, and it'll go through step-by-step step exactly what all you need to do to get something done. Now, we're not submitting assignments on here, so mainly you guys just need to be able to use the discussion board and use your classroom setting, which I'll show you. So, of course, your email functions. We'll kind of go along right here. It functions just like your email would in like an Outlook or something like that. So, you know, you can delete emails. When you check them, we'll kind of go from there, et cetera. Now, this video conferencing link, I'm gonna go through this since we're already in here. You click on that. Okay, so when you guys, if you wanna do face-to-face -face time, I think I talked about it a little bit the other day, but, all you have to do is you just click on this link. You may have to register the first time and create a login, but that should get you to the video feed. Now, again, you do not have to have access to a microphone or a camera in order to take part. You can actually chat in questions or whatever it is that you're wanting to say, and then I can speak it back out you know, to you. The other thing you can do is you can join by phone. So you are welcome to do that, and there's a meeting ID, and then it will just be your voice. So either way, you guys should have access to be able to do either one of those that you want to. And if not, make sure you guys get with your instructors if you're having trouble. They may need to talk to your you know, technology uh, person, etc. Just know this, though, that with the Zoom, it's only going to work, this link, is only going to work during that live time, okay? So if you click on this link right now, like if I click on this link right now, hey, look, it's not, this meeting has ended, it's not valid. So it's not gonna work, and that's because I don't, if nobody joins in, I don't record them, so you won't see them. Um, let me go back to Gaggle. Anyway, um, don't see there it is. Couldn't see it under there. Um, so, anyway, so just know that that link's not going to work unless it's the live recording time, like it's time for the face to face. And again, you're welcome to call in if you'd rather do that. So, and everybody will get that. Last, this one, you know, went to start. It'll go to your whole class, but your email is where you will get the link. So if you're wanting to join in during those face-to-face -face times, you'll have to go to your email to get the link to do that, okay? So that's where you'll see that, you know, every Tuesdays, I think I said at 12.30, Wednesdays at 9. So we'll start all that again next week. It's available, again, not required. So that's where you'll see that. now. Oops, I didn't 
click on that again. So that's your email. Again, another reminder on Gaggle, everything is filtered. So if you write something that's inappropriate, it's going to kick back to me. I'm going to get a like a questionable post or a blocked message, and then I can go in and check any kind of blocked messages myself. So that can happen. Also, I can get into any of your email accounts at any time, and even your deleted emails, like whenever you delete the emails, I can still access them forever. They don't ever completely go away. So just know that, I'm giving you guys that warning now. I can go and look up any chat conversation at any time, any old one or current one. So just, just be aware of that. Okay, so next thing to do, here's Compose, if you need to write an email, you know, it's just like any other email. Um, now remember that you are welcome to email me on Gaggle, but I don't check it as frequently as I do my uh, school email. So please, if you don't mind, just email me at, me at my school email address, kbyrd at cooperisd.net. That way I'll get it immediately and hopefully I can send you a response back quicker. Okay, classes. This is kind of the main area where you guys are going to be working. Now, I know your class, your screen will not look like this. Okay, your screen is, should just have 2015-2016 principles, and you know, so you'll see that. Now, we're not going to have assignments. We're not going to be listed under workspace or gradebook, so that's not going to help you any. Main things we're going to use on here are documents and the discussion board. So if you guys will click on your discussion board, um, there's a little welcome note in here sent to you guys. It says, I'd love for you to introduce yourself when you get a chance, just reply. You, just, you can reply right down here and it'll come up. Now everybody's gonna be able to see what you write in here, so just know that. But it's gonna, all the responses will come up. It's like a discussion time and go from there. Now, there's also a wall, and I've really considered us using this. It's kind of like a, you know, status update or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I haven't used it before, but I'm game for doing that if we if that's something that you guys are interested in maybe chatting back and forth about or if you guys have a specific question that you think everybody else might have, you know, we could do that. We could use that in that fashion as well. But I don't really have any plans for that right now, but we might look at it. Okay, so discussion board. So this is what I want you guys to main things. Discussion board, documents. So those are the two things on here that you're going to be using. So what you'll do is every uh, week I will post your week's worth of lesson plans into the discussion board. And I, I make my, myself like a Word document and I just copy and paste that into this discussion board. So if you'll look, here's week one. Your new terms. Now, this week, I've tried to explain the quiz will be a little bit different for the following week, but um, anyways, so it tells you what it is. So make sure you read that. Here's your terms. Every week, you're going to have about 10 new terms and five new abbreviations. So those are going to be listed first. This is what I expect you to know. And then you're going to have your week's worth of lesson plans. You guys probably got a copy maybe this week of what that looks like. But here it is. So Monday, this is what I want you to do. Watch this new terms video. Okay, so you'll watch that. It's just a YouTube video. You should be able to click on the link and get to it. See video for instructions on how to log in. So this video right here is how to log in to Gaggle, which hopefully you guys did yesterday. So there's that. If you forget the payday terms or if you're not sure, go back and watch it again. You can watch it whenever you want. They're not going to go anywhere. So. And then log in, hopefully you guys did this yesterday, got logged into Gaggle and did the cyber safety quiz. Now today is to finish yesterday's task and then today's video, I don't have the link on here yet because obviously I'm making it right now and I need to be able to show you all this. And I don't have the link for it yet because I haven't created it yet. Um, but that will be in there. Wednesday, so tomorrow, you guys will finish any tasks from the last couple days if you didn't finish getting logged in and figuring out Gaggle and get situated. And then the lecture is how available is healthcare. And here is the video. Now keep in mind when you watch these videos is I normally will record while I'm talking to my class. 
so they might ask questions or something along those lines. If it gets to where you guys can't hear me, or if there's something else going on that you're really struggling to listen or something that's distracting about my room, please just email me and ask me not to be rude or anything. Just ask, you know, let me know. Hey, you know, yesterday's video seemed to be your class seemed to be really loud, and I uh, class seemed to be really loud, and I needed, you know, it's hard to hear or whatever. Let me know so I can, you know, try to fix that. Now look. This next part says, see the PowerPoint in the documents. So what that means is that you're going to go over here to documents, right here, and that's where you'll see. Look, here's this PowerPoint right here. And these, I think, go by, um, probably go by alphabetical order. But if you want to change it so that the most recent documents come up first, you should be able to just click on this. And it will change how these are, see, like their time. Of course, these will all open up at the same time. But that way you can change, like the new, you can make the newest documents at the top so you're not searching for them. That's all you do. You just click on this and it changes the way that they're sorted. So that's a great thing to do there. Let's go back to the discussion board. So anytime it says that you have notes or uh, it says that there's something in the document section, that's what it's referring to is these documents right here. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so next thing for tomorrow is to says read page thirty four in the textbook or the blue book. And then discuss that out loud. It's about baby boomers. So how does this affect you guys? What are what's something interesting about that? How does it, you know, I just want you guys to have a class discussion. And remember that your your instructors will be taking participation grades. They can take them as they want to. So make sure that everybody has input. Whenever you guys have class discussion, you make sure you've got something to say that is worthwhile and worth saying. Okay, so Thursday. You guys will, um, your instructors will facilitate discussion over different healthcare facilities. So everybody will take a different facility that's on these pages, or some of your classes may be small, so you might need to take two, or maybe your classes are really big and two people need to take one. So everybody take a different one, read about it, and then summarize it to the class. Again, for this patient grade. Friday, there's a new assignment. Okay, so it says to research health service agencies that are due on 9-11. So this assignment is due on September 11th. Make sure you read the instructions like it says, and I'll try to put as much info. So make sure you read all of this information and then read the, uh, the assignment too. Now the assignment itself, whenever it says something like this, it's going to be attached right here. You can download it, or you can just open it and read it, or you can download it and print it, etc. Okay, so there it is. That's the assignment. A little exit here. Did you guys see that? Oops. Oh, well, that's awesome. You can open it up in Word, etc. Hit enable editing, so we'll let you do that. But that's it. So you can go to there, print it, or you can, you know, do whatever you need to do here. Now, um, the other thing, that's the main thing. Now look, if you hit this, let me show you what this is going to do. So if you hit this little lock button right here, it says save to locker. Okay, so your locker is talking about a digital locker. If you guys go up here to the apps section, there's lots of things here that you guys can use. You've got the chat rooms here. Um, you guys should have already taken the cyber safety quiz, but here is your digital locker. When you open that up, yours probably won't have anything in it. Mine's going to have a lot of stuff in it. Sorry, that's taking so long. So I used to, used to always put everything, like notes and everything, into your digital locker, but now I just share it in the document section of the class. That kind of keeps everything streamlined a little bit easier. But within this uh, digital locker, 
you guys can save if you want to. And look what happened. I hit that lock button. So now look, here's this assignment. It's automatically, as soon as I punch that button, it saved it into the digital locker for me. And that way I could go back to it print or if I want to go and work on it, like maybe, maybe you want to use my copy and, and just change it up or work on it. Or maybe you want to answer it that way and then print it out to give to your teacher when you're finished. You know, those are some other options. So you can save that. You can use this digital locker though for anything for your other classes. Like let's say you forgot a USB drive at home. You can log into Gaggle and save something to your digital locker. All you have to do is you go to your digital locker from this apps screen. And then you just go, you can either, um, here's the upload button. So upload a document. You can create a new document inside these, this uh, program. So those are some other options. Um, or you can upload something. Okay, so that's, that's it. That's all you do. You want to, you can uh, click on it and delete it that way. Or, well, not, well, can't really delete that one. I guess maybe I can, no, we can't drag it. I guess you just checkbox it and then hit the thing. I don't know, I don't know that I've ever deleted anything because I always use everything in here. But that's that, and you can create folders. So hit this more button here. No, just kidding. Oh, create a folder, there it is. So create a folder if you want to like, if you want one for each of your classes or something, but you guys are welcome to use this for other classes too. It really is a great resource, a great tool. Okay, other than that, you can also get to the discussion boards here and gaggle too, which is kind of like a safe YouTube you know, think videos that have been approved. But for the most part in this class, kind of repeat here for a second, is you're just gonna use your classes. And when you get in here, you're gonna use your documents, that's where your notes are, and you're gonna use your discussion board. Okay, and your discussion board is gonna have assignments linked to it. The only thing that you will not have linked is quizzes, or our quizzes, and your test. I will email this directly to your teacher, so that they can pass them out. I'm just, I've had a lot of um, issues with kids cheating on this, and you know, I know it's tempting to do that, um, especially in a program like this, but it's just really important that you don't, because it's like I said the other day, you know, when you, if you can't handle the little things, like, you know, not cheating on a simple quiz, then you don't really have any business in healthcare, because there's a lot of big things you have to handle with integrity. And it's hard to do that when you don't even handle the little things with it. So. Anyways, that's kind of a run through. I, you know, I can, I don't know, I hope that that's clear. Watch it a couple times. If you need to go through it twice, go through it twice or watch the video again. Or um, hopefully you guys maybe even took some notes about what to do next. But the main things in here for you guys, you're going to use, you might use your email. But mostly is your class, go to your class, and then you're going to use the discussion board as well on this weekly plan. And you'll use the document section, which is where notes, oh, I wanted to draw your attention to one more thing. Documents, this is where your PowerPoint and notes will be. The other thing that's always in here is this extra credit document. So that I'm going to leave in the documents always. So you guys, like I said, I'm not going to remind you to do extra credit, but it's always available and it will stay in here. The other things that are in here is the syllabus. So that will stay in here. So you have a copy of that if you need it. And then this oral presentation rubric. I just left that in here because I use that rubric for most all of our presentations. So you can get an idea of what I normally look for or what your instructor will be looking for when they do presentations. So that is always available in there. I think that is it. If you guys have any other questions, please email me and let me know. Or if there's some other resource you might need to use, feel free to email me and I can get you that information. I, I hope this is clear. I think that they've done a good job of streamlining everything so that at least we can find all of our information just within the class. I think that will make this much, much easier. And since I'm able to attach your assignments to the discussion board, that has made things much easier as well. So I hope you guys 
have a wonderful day and have a great week. Make sure you're working hard. Make sure you participate when you need to participate. And let me know if you have any other issues. Thank <laughs> you.